So when you do in your birthday decode, you want to know who was born and passed away on your birthday and the connection. So Heather, right here, she played in Freddy Krueger. Her birthday is 717. The birthday portal I'm working on is 717. So I think of Freddy Krueger. His real name is Charles. So who else has a birthday of 717? That would be Camilla Parker Bowles, right? So her and King Charles like to go in spiritual realm and become Freddy Krueger. That's what happens. So if you see him, you definitely want to run, okay? Unless you are on their team, you might. But me knowing what birthday decode this is for who, you're definitely probably on our team. So it's kind of like Francis Xavier from X-Men go wear that mask, that, that little headgear and goes to find the X-Men. Except he plays the Magneto role or the, the, the government role where they're trying to take us out in that realm. So like Freddy Krueger, X-Men, it's like the same thing. Except imagine X-Men being a horror movie where you don't have superpowers in real life and they're planning things against you. So spiritual realm, when you do your birthday decode, you could plan in the, in the spiritual realm where you're an X-Men, where you have all your powers, you know? So when you dream and you could fly and you could swim and you could drink and you could do nothing costs no money, you see your soulmate, you're traveling with people, seeing celebrities, seeing yourself, seeing people pass away, you could beat Freddy Krueger. And Freddy Krueger he was a victim himself as well, but I'm just saying, you know, so Heather having 717 birthday, like Camilla, and then the whole Charles being Freddy Krueger's name, um, all that. So right now they could conjure up Elizabeth's energy so she could be in the spiritual realm if she hasn't crossed over, if she's still in purgatory, you know, she's probably still in purgatory, trying to, you know, get her life together or trying to get to her new life where she, you know, a lot of reincarnation happens. So maybe like in the middle of passing away and living again, you might travel to other planets. You might travel and save people on earth from, you know, people taking abduction style. Um, you know, there's, you could actually travel in the middle of, you know, crossing over to help people. Every time when you go to sleep, you could help people cross over. You don't have to actually be, you know, passed away to actually help people travel to the future. You just got to be in the realm. You probably travel faster and more accurately when you're in purgatory or when you're crossing over or you have a near-death experience because your energy is stronger. But when you're sleeping, you still have strong energy, so you can still help people cross over. And the point is, it's kind of like there's a body waiting for your soul to get into it. Right now in spiritual realm, they're stopping the energy and trapping spirits like Ghostbusters in a box to not make it over. So our job is to understand the codes subconsciously, consciously, so when we travel in our dreams, we can help people get to their new bodies. A lot of times in the spiritual realm, a lot of riddles because you don't really know a lot. So you'd have to kind of rely on instinct and then your instinct will tell a story. So again, if you want to watch Freddy Krueger, definitely watch all of it. I have a playlist on my page called like um, the Freddy Krueger playlist. Um, so definitely go look at that. So with Camilla Cabello, um, she played in the Cinderella movie as the princess Camilla. So it reminds me of Camilla. Her birthday is 3-3. Jesus was 33. When he passed away, March 3rd is my mom's birthday. That's cool. But like, so that's a number. 33 is a big number in numerology. But Camilla and Camilla. So I always say she reminds me of the mother from Cinderella. It is Camilla. So it's interesting they cast her as the princess. Also reminds me of like um, Ariel, Elizabeth, the octopus, um... Just this is like spiritual realm. So like everything you watch in TV shows and movies are just showing you what happens in spiritual realm or astral realm where they get these people. When people write movies and TV shows and books, they're downloading energy. So these are the energies. Like you try to stop love from happening by going after someone who's the weakest link based on what they do. So him being in you know, taking substances would take him out. If you're depressed, then they take you out that way. If you like to gamble, then they'll say you drank yourself and gambled yourself out the game so you have to be smart in this game and not do anything that will just fit a narrative that is still astral assassination they're like it's a car accident it's not astral assassination or that person had cancer or whatever i'm like yeah cancer you already know how that goes like there's certain thing i can't say but like certain things that look like accidents are spiritual assassinations are astral assassinations and you could tell because usually your movie your um uh, codes with your birthdays and the people and you can still tell so it's symbology, you know, Cat Valentine, Red Hair, Ariel, Arianda. So a lot of the energy, whenever she falls in love, they usually try to go to the weakest link. So look into Queen Elizabeth I, um, who actually um, was born one day before Queen Elizabeth passed away. And time goes in a circle, so not the same year, but you know what I mean. So 324 is her birthday. 
and then she and she passed away nine seven and then she passed away nine eight so when you see elizabeth just think of like the it movie pennywise like the redhead ariel astral travel alien dna o negatives all that energy the redheads were used a lot by epstein and um prince was it prince andrew to help with astral travel because they're very astrologically inclined like if they have alien dna they could see the future from the aliens people from earth that are maybe melanated could see the future of earth if you make the little mermaid black and you know black with red hair that's like saying you know she's an alien but she's also from earth so you have a psychic who could sing that could also see earth future as well as the future of extraterrestrials so Audrey Hepburn is based off the Sophia robot, which Jeffrey Epstein supposedly financed by getting all these um, companies and colleges to make a, you know, the COG system, which is the computer program to go into the Sophia robot. So Sophia robot was powered February 14th. So think Cap Valentine, Valentine's Day, February 14th. Valentine's, you meet your soulmate. So in spiritual realm, they're always trying to separate you from your soulmate because that would make you an empire. If you have a man and a woman who love each other, that are going to raise children, that want children, they're going to raise the empire and protect their empire. That's what they don't want. So they don't want you to have, they can, you can have a mate, like one of your twin flames or a mate you had in the past lifetime, because we've had many mates. But your soulmate, like the original mate from Lemuria, who you love, that person right there, when they see it, they try to take it in astral realm. So like think Peter Parker, um, the guy that has the voice of um, Peter Parker in the cartoon. May 4th was born, same birthday as Audrey Hepburn. Camilla Parker Bowles, she's married to King Charles, so her last name is Parker. So think of Osborne Corp, which is actually a place in England, which has a lot to do with England, the Osborne Corp from, Osborne Corp from um, Spider-Man. So think of like um, The Grove, it's the B-O-H-E-M-I-A-N, I don't want to say it because The Grove over in, I think, California, where they talk about owls and talk about spiders and stuff because it's like a world wide web. The web is the internet, the astral internet. They want to know about the connections. Um, the net, the netters, the god and goddesses of Egypt or Lemuria. Like, who are the people who ruled that smart place in Egypt? Because we need to make sure they don't come back. We're, we're, people are already have ancient Egyptian DNA. A lot of us just lay low, okay? We just be like, mm, you know what? Y'all do too much with that DNA. But the fact that it's May 4th, May 4th, that's a connection right there. So when you do your birthday decode, you want to look at connection. Jeffrey Epstein, January 20th, um, he has a portal at that time. I think he's born January 20th, passed away August 10th. So January 20th is the same, it's the same energy as her, which is a robot, which is based off her in Nefertiti, which is ancient Egyptian. So um, when you look at Camilla Parker Bowles and like all these, I'm going to go more into Cinderella, Little Mermaid and stuff. But for now, just touching bases on that so you can see what I'm, what I'm going to be looking at, um, which is just a lot of channeling of the evil queen's and the Cinderella's of the world, which is a lot of us. A lot of us don't know we're being attacked by a monarch or by a military or by a hospital astral astrally. You know, we just live in 3D. Da, da, da. Some of us have 5D understanding. But when you do your birthday decode, you'd be like, if they have my story in a movie, the names, the birthdays, and I've been through it in real life, then like it's seeming very 3D at this point. So... You definitely want to go watch the It movie because it came out September 8th, which is Queen is the first birthday. I mean, death day, you know, which is who Camilla Parker Bowles, you know, she became the queen because the other queen passed away. But it was supposed to be Princess Diana. Dirty Diana. Oh, they took out Dirty Diana. They took out Michael Jackson. They took out Marilyn Monroe. They just be taking out people left and left JFK. So you don't want them to take you out. And then you're not even nobody, like you somebody. But I mean, you're not like very famous. So all of us are not super famous. So... I'm on TikTok, so if they're taking you out, you already know who did it. The monarch and the military and the uh, other popes and stuff because they don't want to see me be able to teach you guys how to do birthday decodes and to astrally travel better to fight them in their fight where they're good because they have technology, they have psychics, they have substances. They have everything in their corner to make themselves rule the world, including money. We have the natural knowledge, natural energy, so we can win if we just all get our subconsciouses up to par with birthday decodes and just like figuring out what the heck's going on with gematria, numerology, and energy. Also, definitely, if you don't watch Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones very much good on what's going on. Where are my dragons? Khaleesi, all that. President Snow, okay, Hunger Games. So think about Snow from um, Game of Thrones. If you watch Game of Thrones, there's though, but we're going to go on that in the next video.